Mahakama Kuu imesimamisha kwa muda agizo la serikali la kuwazuia wakenya ambao hawajachanjwa kikamilifu dhidi ya ugonjwa wa COVID-19 kupata huduma za msingi kuanzia tarehe moja mwezi huu. Jaji Anthony Mrima amesimamisha agizo hilo hadi tarehe 4 Januari ambapo kesi hiyo itasikilizwa. Nobody said it is mandatory. If you don't want service in the Ministry of Health, don't come. Nobody is saying that you must be vaccinated. No, absolutely not. All I am saying is that if you want to, to come to my office at Afia House and I've been fully vaccinated and you don't want to try the phone. Kama unakula chupa chupa ya whiskey kwa nini uzidungu zidungwe? Kama unaweza whiskey hata hiyo vaccine utaweza usijali. Agizo la hivi majuzi la serikali kutoa ruhusu wa Kenya ambao hawajachanjwa kikamilifu kupata huduma za kimsingi kuanzia tarehe na moja mwezi huu limesimamishwa kwa muda na mahakama kuu. Jaji Anthony Mrima alisema agizo hilo litasimamishwa hadi tarehe 4 Januari mwaka ujao ambapo kesi hiyo itasikilizwa. Rufa hiyo iliwasilishwa na Enoch Aura kupitia kwa wakili wake akisema kwamba muda uliopeanwa hautatosha kwa Kenya wote kuchanjwa. Kenya is a democratic society if you want to go to court you are free to go to court. But remember even freedom is not absolute freedom. Serikali inalenga kuchanja zaidi ya watu milioni kumi kabla ya mwaka kukamilika. Kulingana na takwimu za hivi punde kutoka Wizara ya Afya watu milioni nane nukta mbili wamechanjwa kati ya watu hawa watu milioni 4.9 hawajachanjwa kikamilifu ilhali milioni 3.3 wamechanjwa kikamilifu more importantly that we all who are eligible get vaccinated because science has proven that vaccination offers protection so what else are we waiting for we can be able to uh, avert most stringent measures by us simply going for vaccination nancy okware darubini